Okay, um, don't worry. I'm going away on holiday for a week, so you guys are going to get a break. But um, this is a um, this is the cable from an Amstrad PC uh, 1640 monitor. It's a DIN 14, but only only 10 pins are actually used. I have not been able to find a supplier for these. I have seen someone who resells them, but I don't want to buy it from a reseller in the UK. I want to get it from Mouser or, or Farnell or Element 14. But I just haven't been able to find it. So this is what supplies power to the Amstrad PC1640 and also obviously delivers the video signal. Uh, but it also fits in the Amstrad PPC portables. Um, so you can use the Amstrad PC monitor as an external monitor um, and also as a, as a power supply. So um, anyway, yeah, so the idea is to talk this up for an external power supply. But I just would like to find more of these DIN 14s. So, oh, and today, so this arrived, Texas Instruments uh, CC40, Compact Computer 40. This actually works. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put it with my other two and try and get a working one out of all three because the case is a bit dinged up. So I think I've got a case that's better. Um, but interestingly, it comes with this cartridge that um, looks like an EEPROM, like a UV raceable EEPROM. Um, I just wish that those were covered up. So I'm not too, yeah, I need to look into that, but that's that's something else. That's something separate. Uh, what I wanted to do in this video is, is look at this quickly. Uh, Linux for the PlayStation 2. So back in the day, you could buy this directly from Sony. Can't remember how much it was. Four hundred dollars Australian or something. This is going back ten something. Must be more than ten years. Um, but you got um, yeah. So this is the actual software. A nice manual. You get the um, you get the two disc runtime environment and additional packages. Um, plus the manual, um, and you got the mouse, PlayStation 2 mouse, so that you can do your Linux stuff, and of course, um, uh, Sony PlayStation 2 keyboard as well, um, so it doesn't have the Windows, it's got a diamond. That's a very nice keyboard, actually. It's a nice, nice feel to it. So you got those plus. I don't have the video camera. I, I do have it somewhere, but it was a short, a short um, cable with with Sony's proprietary PlayStation plug on one end and um, a VGA sync on green, of course. Something strange. Sync on green with, with audio RCA. Um, yeah, so that was how that was used. But I don't know where it's gone. God knows where it is. It's somewhere. Um, you didn't get a PlayStation. You already had to have a PlayStation 2. But you got the um, Ethernet interface, network interface, plus a hard drive interface um, combined. So I've actually upgraded mine... So I'll say this is just a quick look. I think I need to reinstall it all. But I, a couple of years ago, upgraded the hard drive from um, from IDE or PATA to uh, SATA, I think. Here we go. Come out, come out. Um, does that come off? Oh yeah, just unplugs. There we go. Yeah, so this is the so it's the network adapter plus it had the um I'll go I've got the original parts. I'll go get the original parts. But I've um then gone and put in a um it's not a spinning rust disc, it's a oh jeez. Oh my god, what's the word? Not non-volatile RAM. 
Uh, solid state, <laughs> solid state. So I've gone in and put in a solid state. Um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, you had, it was a big um, IDE. I can't remember how big it was. Um, it wasn't that big. This is going back maybe 15 years. I, I want to say 15 years, maybe. Um, well, let me get the original parts. All right, so here's the original parts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so pretty much... IDE, there's IDE or PATA plus the um, plus the power adapter that went into it. However, it was, um, yeah. So I guess the power adapter was in there like that, and then you had the IDE there. Um, but yeah, so someone made a, a SATA adapter, and then I've got a converter sitting here. So yeah. And then that just slid all together. So obviously the, the PlayStation, the Linux kit only works on these style because you need to be have need to be able to install the hard drive. Um, yeah. So there we go. I know there's there's other videos about this on online. I just wanted to something that's been kicking around. It's I've got two, you know so much so much stuff. I've accumulated over the years, like a bower bird. Um, I just wish I had time to to play with it all. So, and yeah, obviously the joystick and mouse connect to the USB at the front. You just need um, a PS2, which is an eight megabyte memory card to go in there. Um, and yeah, you either boot, you either boot into Linux, or then you can boot into a normal game. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I'll, um, I'll try and get this all up and running at some stage. Um, so we can have a proper look at it. Um, yeah, so no doubt the comment will be, well, if you cleaned all your shit up, Brett, you might be able to find your cable. That is a valid point. Yeah, okay, that was it. I just wanted to show you that quickly. Because uh, I thought it was of some interest. Um, yeah, bye for now.